In Roblox Studio today, we are going to make a sand pit that actually slows down our walk until we leave it and we can speed back up. Let's build this. I already have a few things in my scene. So I have this block right here, which is just going to be the, the visual cue for the player that they're on something that's going to slow them down. You can't walk or run in sand as fast as you can on other materials. So I created a brick, I gave it a bright orange uh, color, and then I changed the material to sand. Nothing fancy. This right here is another part that is the equal size of the other block, but it's taller. This is what we're going to call the trigger volume. I even named it trigger in the explorer here. Now, this block right here, this part has its transparency set to one. That's important so the user can't see it. I anchored it so that it doesn't fall. It stays exactly where it's at and I turned can collide off. So the user doesn't collide with it, but the can touch is left on so that the, the game knows that a player or something is touching it because we're gonna use that touched event in our script. So we've got this set up, let's start scripting. Go to the trigger volume, the invisible box, and I'm gonna add a script to it. In this script, first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to grab that invisible block. So that's the parent object of this script. This script is a child, it's you know nested inside of this trigger, that invisible block. Once I have that, I can use it to call some functions. So function, slow down. So this function is going to slow down the player. It's gonna take a parameter of hit, and if the thing that hit it is a human or a player, then it should have a child on it that is called humanoid. If it does, let's go ahead and grab some properties of that player. Now, one of those properties is walk speed and we can actually adjust it using script. So we're, first we're gonna grab a variable that references that thing, which is just this. This is basically a variable that references the player. Now we can change some properties about that player, like their walk speed. We're going to set it to five. 16 is the default. So five is about one third of their normal walk speed. It's slow enough to feel slow, but not so slow that they're not going to want to play the game anymore because they're stuck in the sand trap. Now what we can do is we can wire this up. So we can say sand.touched connect up a function and we're gonna connect up the slow down function. So when we touch our sand or our invisible block, we should slow down to five. Let's go ahead and play and try this out. We are walking, we hit that invisible brick and we slow way down. Now if I walk off the brick, I'm still slow. If I I hold shift, I control, nothing will speed me back up because my walk speed has been set to five. We never told the game when to set it back to the default, so let's do that. Come back to our script, we're gonna create a new function, which is basically the exact same thing we did before. So we're gonna copy it, we're going to paste it in here, we're gonna change the name because two functions can't be named the same thing. We can't tell them to slow down and then tell them to slow down, but it means something different. So we're gonna say reset walk. And all this does, it does the exact same thing, but it sets the walk speed back to the default. Now, when do we want this to happen? We want this to happen when the player is no longer inside of this invisible block, when they're no longer touching this. Well, in Roblox, we have a special event. We have the sand dot touch ended. We can connect up a new function. What did we call our function? We called it reset walk. Now, when the touch event has ended, meaning they're no longer part of that invisible cube, then we will go back to the normal walk speed. Let's see if this works. Walking, 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 normal speed, hit the invisible block. I am part of this touch event. Now I am no longer 
part of that touched event and I can go back to normal. That's how you make super slow, awesome sand or any, I don't, this doesn't have to be sand, it could be goo, it could be whatever you want, but that's how you slow down a character when they're touching a certain part in Roblox.